Located deep in the heart of Old Town, you'll find four fantastic clubs under one roof. Rum Runners Entertainment Complex, the only club on the island with live reggae. Or sing along with Irish Kevin or Mike Lee. Loud and rowdy Rum Runners, two for one drink specials and dark, cool, air conditioned bar. Keep the place packed and the crowd roaring. Rum Runners Channel Zero, Key West's premier dance club, spins 70s and 80s disco and top 40 dance music, and pours drink specials nightly. Nestled in the back of Rum Runners, the hideaway is open till 4 in the morning, with Key West's only live alternative rock and roll. And upstairs is South Florida's premier adult entertainment club, with 32 beautiful females dancing till 4 in the morning. Rum Runners, Old Town Key West. 218 Duval. Café des Artistes. Sensual tropical flavors artfully combined with daring French sauces and incomparable French style. Café des Artistes. Savory appetizers, chilled stone crab claws and fine Russian caviar. Lobster Tango Mango. Roast duckling with raspberry sauce. Succulent roasted double lamb chops. The perfect wine. White linen and candlelight. The art of fine dining. Café des Artistes. Dress is Key West casual. Reservations are recommended. Call 294-7100. Soaking up sun and paradise, kicking back in the keys. We hope you'll be watching tomorrow's edition of High TV when we bring you more interviews with interesting folks and important issues. Now. Since the Keys has so much coastline, state narcotics agents have their hands full trying to police it all. Some of the biggest drug busts in history have been made in Florida because of its proximity to South America, Jamaica, and Mexico. What to do with the confiscated contraband? Custom officials near Fort Lauderdale once burned five tons of marijuana worth about three million dollars to fuel Florida Power and Light Company's Port Everglades plant. Days continues with the Old Island Days Golf Classic in February and the annual flagging of the Old Island Armada, which is held every March, along with a famous and comical conch shell blowing contest. The flagging of the ships is a colorful, exciting event with dozens of private, commercial, Navy, Coast Guard, power and sailboats parading in a flag bedecked spectacular through Key West's main channel, celebrating Commodore David Porter's routing of the pirates from Key West waters. For 150 days, Old Island Day celebrates history and culture with an ever-changing, delightful series of art exhibitions, theater events, musicals, film festivals, concerts, and ballets, beauty pageants, parties, bazaars, and wonderful exotic food festivals. Key West winters are undeniably her glory. December through March, the entire island is alive with excitement. Visitors from all corners of the world come here to escape the bitter cold of northern winters for balmy, sun-filled days and warm, tropical nights. The pubs and open-air restaurants are filled to overflowing with happy, sunburned tourists and seasonal inhabitants. It's a magic that flows throughout the warm winter season. But as spring approaches, the island is energized with a whole new kind of excitement as the fabulous tropical gardens explode with color.
it's spring in Key West. Unlike any other place on the planet, warm tropical days and cool starry nights, spectacular sunsets, and romance. Romance? Romance. During the summer months, Key West attracts scuba and snorkeling enthusiasts from around the world. Summer waters offer the greatest visibility, predictable calm seas. The reef is alive with underwater activity, and many island resorts offer attractive summer dive packages with extremely reasonable rates. The same subtle changes in climate and water conditions which attract divers also excite sport fishermen. In the late spring and throughout the summer months, the fishing in Key West is fabulous. The Texaco Hemingway Key West Classic Fishing Tournament is held in early May, and beginning May 1 and running all the way to November the 30th, the annual Key West Fishing Tournament lures expert anglers from as far away as Japan and Australia. Fishing the Florida Keys is a lifelong highlight for many of these sports fishermen. For the Gulf and Atlantic waters surrounding the Keys are teeming with the finest sport and food fish in the world. Naturally, area restaurants take advantage of the abundant fresh catch, offering some of the best seafood of the year in the summer and fall months. In mid-July, the Hemingway Days Festival offers a delightful assortment of education and culture, entertainment and carousing, literary seminars and writer's workshops, storytelling contests, sailing regattas, Hemingway's birthday party, and of course, Miller Lite's famous Papa Hemingway's Lookalike Contest at Sloppy Joe's. Also, midsummer is the annual Sportsman's Weekend. Divers and snorkelers gather in Key West for a weekend of lobstering and lobster feasts. Summers are glorious in Key West, but perhaps this island is most famous for her wild tropical nights of fantasy. Fantasy Fest. Sometimes, even a tourist would like to escape the tourist. Here in Key West, the locals get away to Martha's. The name Martha's fits the place. It sounds like a family place, and it is. A comfortable restaurant with pillars made of living aquariums, and a reputation among locals for the best steaks on the island. Martha's Steaks and Seafood, overlooking the Atlantic on A1A, near the airport, 294-3466.
vary from a jumbo waffle weave to a middleweight waffle weave, even down to a basket weave. And then almost all of this will coordinate with rows, as you see behind me, in waffle weave, and basket weaves, and in terry. And we even have gone into flannel pajamas and flannel robes in the natural. With everyone's consciousness of the ecology these days, it uh, makes a lot of sense. And also, as you can see, it's beautiful to look at. One of the most rewarding aspects of my work is seeing an idea go from a concept to finished product that hopefully my customers will enjoy. I'd start with an inspiration, such as the South Florida Art Deco influences and a beautiful Florida palm tree. From this, I create what is now the Deco Palms design. I will work on several rough drafts with a goal of a final design. Then I finalize one of the most important details of the design, color. Once the final details are set, I will take them to the mill for production. The conception of the design to the finished product in the shop can take from six months to a year. Towels of Key West ships towels and loads all over the world. Nowhere else will you find such extraordinary quality. Virtually all natural fibers. Egyptian cold cotton. Silky, soft, fluffy, absorbent, heavy linen. Even a specially absorbent Australian towel made especially for drying your hair without damaging it when rubbing with an ordinary towel will do. Towels of Key West towels are pre-washed, pre-shrunk, and machine washable. As exquisite as they are, they are still, after all, towels. So they are convenient, functional, and fun. Kent swears that the 40 by 72 size is the towel. Once you've used it, you'll never go back to a smaller towel. Network and welcoming the world to America's only Caribbean island. The Tourist Network is America's leading visitor information network, serving not only Key West, but other leading Southeast resorts in convention cities. New Orleans, Myrtle Beach, Destin, Panama City Beach, and Atlanta. Whether traveling for business or pleasure, everyone wants to make the most of their visit, and they have questions. Where do we what to do, how to get there, which to buy, when to go, how to pay, what about the weather? The Tourist Network offers answers to those questions in the quiet comfort and safety of the hotel room. In less time than it might take to unpack their bags, the Tourist Network has sparked interest, captured imaginations, and whetted appetites. As weary visitors take a moment to recover from a hard day's traveling, the Tourist Network reminds them of a special concert in a nearby park, encourages them not to miss happy hour in a favorite club, takes them behind the scenes with a popular local chef. Before they even venture out of their room, the power of television has them already familiarized with their destination and influenced their decisions about where and how they will spend their time and their money. Vacation spots are notorious for having a myriad of confusing guides, each proclaiming to be the best. The Tourist Network offers a far superior solution for the visitor and the advertiser. For the viewer, a real television station filled with live and pre-produced programming designed exclusively to serve the visitor, informs, entertains, and educates with colorful, fast-moving, award-winning quality programming. For the advertiser, 
The Tourist Network reliably and affordably delivers the most sought after, most elusive target audience in the world, the vacation and business traveler. This is an audience with discretionary dollars to spend, an audience that is tuned in and actively seeking the information and advertising messages being presented to them by the most powerful media tool known to man in an atmosphere without distractions, offering a unique opportunity to compel and influence the buyer. Additionally, a tourist network station is often the last opportunity the advertiser will have to influence the buyer before the purchase. National, regional, and local advertisers will have the option of traditional spot advertising or longer advertorials. For many advertisers, the tourist network does all the work. The Half Shell Raw Bar. This colorful, casual restaurant is right on the docks. You can come early for dinner and watch the fleets unload from your dockside table. As a matter of fact, the Half Shell has its own seafood market right there. So the fish, the steamed shrimp, chilled stone crab claws, clams, and oysters on the Half Shell are the freshest on the island. The world-famous Half Shell Raw Bar. Open for lunch and dinner seven days a week in the Lands End Village at the foot of Margaret Street. One of the last remains of old Key West. Come, spend the day with us. There's a difference between local joints and tourist joints. And you can feel the difference at PT's late night. PT's. A local home cooking sports bar with cool games, low prices, good old boys watching their favorite games on TV and other late night stuff. PT's, a local joint on Caroline Street. The New York Times says wonderful mix of Asian foods. Boston Globe raves, the perfect restaurant, superior food, ambiance and service, all at a moderate price. Our number one vacation favorite. Key West citizen readers voted dim sum best in Key West 92. Long before Pacific Rim became a culinary rage, chef Michael Min Kim, a Burmese native, was acclaimed for his assimilation of different Asian cuisines, delicately blending spices and condiments to produce exotically tasteful dishes with a fresh, crisp presentation. Offering an eclectic selection of Thai, Burmese, Indian, Indonesian, and Chinese specialties with an accent on fresh seafood, this off Duval Street Asian-style tea house, constructed with seamless wood joinery, has become a Key West classic. For 14 years, Dim Sum has carried on an enduring romance with locals and regular visitors to the island, calling them back again and again for luscious seafood dragon noodles, tempting five-spice roast duck, tangy Thai whole fish, Malay coconut shrimp, Indian curries and Chinese stir fries. The faint aroma of freshly sauteed garlic, ginger and chilies drifts through the cozy dining room, centered by an elegant bar handcrafted from a Key West almond tree. We have quite a local following uh, because people do find the food very consistent. Over the 14 years, people come and say it's exactly the same as seven years ago or you know five years ago. Um, but we also get quite an eclectic crowd of people that have traveled the world and that people um, kind of like a, a, a finer kind of cuisine uh, that uh, we use a lot of fresh seafood and a lot of garlic and chilies and so people really quite like it. <laughs> there are European and California wines by the glass, cold Asian beers and authentic sake cocktails. Dress is mercifully casual. Open 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Major credit cards accepted. In every resort town, there is a place where locals go to escape the tourist. A place where they know they can get away from the hype and confusion and just relax. Where the food is exactly the way they like. Steaks cut thick. The fresh seafood. Really fresh native seafood. There are few places like that in Key West. One of the longest surviving and best loved is on the Atlantic side of the island, near the airport, Martha's. Martha's sort of fits the place. It sounds so down to earth and dependable, good cooking and warm, friendly smiles. It sounds like a family place, and it is. 
owner, Mark Hyatt, and his sister, Danielle, oversee everything at Martha's. One of them is always on hand to make sure the locals and the tourists are treated like old friends. When Bill Farley negotiated for the position of executive chef at Martha's, he had one condition. He insisted on working the hotline at least three times a week. This dish is a perfect example of my favorite things coming together. Fresh shrimp, scallops, prosciutto, a touch of garlic and a nice pink cream sauce with a touch of grated Pecorino Romano cheese. And here we have it. A piano plays softly in the background. Deep, cool colors reflecting the huge aquariums. The view of the Atlantic is spectacular from any of Martha's three levels of seating. It is a dramatic design for such a simple laid-back island. But it fits somehow. The locals take it for granted. The tourists just find it another quirky Key West miracle. The old sign at Martha's used to say, The Place for Steaks. Now it reads, The Place for Steaks and Seafood. That was a big move for Martha's, but they pulled it off perfectly. The steaks are still the best on the island, and they didn't change the sign till the seafood passed muster with the local critics and a few celebrities like Cher, Coach Don Shula, and Dallas Cowboys past president Tex Schramm. Martha's Steaks. The prime rib is one of the best. Cuts of aged Midwest beef, thick, rich, lovingly marbleized, and priced with local values in mind. The filet mignon with sauce bernaise is tender and perfect. The New York strip is certified Angus, the finest in the country. Martha's Seafood, from the blackened shrimp to yellowtail grenoblas. Local yellowtail snapper with lemon, capers, and butter. From grilled dolphin with walnut amaretto butter to stone crab claws. It's all fresh and fabulous and always creative. Nobody knows how to make more out of seafood than an island chef. Martha's Steak and Seafood, overlooking the Atlantic on South Roosevelt, right next door to the world-famous Benihana Japanese Steakhouse. This is a totally unique way to enjoy Key West local seafood. If you've never experienced a real Japanese steakhouse, you will love the excitement. Every meal is a show of amazing skill and dexterity. But as flamboyant as the service may be, the thing you will remember most are the exquisite flavors and quality of your elaborate meal. Nobody does tempanyaki like Benihana. And Key West Benihana is excitingly different. Filled with priceless antiques of jade, agates, and gold. Benihana and Martha's open nightly at 5.30. Dress is casual. All major credit cards are accepted. Reservations are suggested. Call Martha's at 294-3466. Benihana at 294-6400. Over 20 years ago, right here on this island, we discovered the gentle gifts of this beautiful plant. Aloe, natural and pure, with the power to soothe and moisturize, cool and heal. Long before others began to understand the value of our Earth's precious natural healers, here, under the intense glare of the tropical sun, we pioneered the development of the first sunscreens. You look at some of these kids on the beach here, and they're 15, 16, 17, that are virtually uh, committed their skin to having problems for the rest of their life, because ultraviolet is cumulative. Bottom line for anybody, whatever age, is to avoid uh, too much exposure to the sun. There's a new product on the market that we manufacture, actually, and it's called Aloe A, which is a vitamin A cream that helps the skin regenerate itself so that you, uh, you are getting that, that constant action of regeneration of the skin uh, without uh, appeal, because there are uh, those kinds of products that are using vitamin A or, or derivatives of vitamin A that essentially peel the skin. This product does not. It just helps the skin renew itself on a continuing basis. 20 years of research and careful study have made us known throughout the world as the sun experts, combining natural ingredients with the magic of aloe to create aloe genetics. Then with aloe genetics, creating a dazzling array of soothing lotions, ointments, and creams to smooth away wrinkles, revitalize dry, tired skin, moisturize and restore youthful softness and elasticity. Pure and natural, no harsh chemicals or drying agents. 
carefully blended for every skin type. Created from the very beginning with a deep respect for what is natural and good. We're a relatively small company when you compare us to the big giants in the industry. But what is most remarkable is that we are on the cutting edge of science as well as with our natural product. For instance, we came out with an alpha hydroxy skin cream which exfoliates all night long. And you, you know how we do that? With time-release capsules. I don't know anyone else that's come out with something like that. So you put it on at night, exfoliates all night long, and you wake up with a, a, a clearer, a nicer textured skin. And after two weeks, you'll see some remarkable changes in your, your face. We have uh, an environmental defense cream which uh, fights the free radicals in the atmosphere. And so we have all kinds of wonderful things in there. We have beta carotene, vitamin A, uh, vitamin E, and a very uh, novel uh, ingredient which has just been made available through, again, science, and that is a micronized titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is a sunscreen, but more importantly, it's a sunscreen against the entire spectrum from smoke, from uh, chemical ac action, from oxidation, from U UV, all of those things produce free radicals. And it's the free radicals that eventually uh, develop uh, carcinogenic uh, molecules yeah. and reactions. So whether it's UVB, UVA, UVC, UVD, you're covered with this titanium dioxide. The next nice thing about it is it's not a chemical action, it's a physical. And although you can't see it because it is micronized, it's there protecting the skin against all these UV exposures. That, again, was introduced by us before any of the competition. Now, here's an interesting... Payable to the national... A very large company came out with an environmental product shortly after we did. However, theirs is a liquid, and it comes in an eyedropper, and you drop a drop here, 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 and you rub it in. But then the instructions say, you must add a moisturizer. And their product is only one ounce. Now we make the environmental defense cream that has all these wonderful things in it, but it is also a moisturizer. And it what has, about the price? It has 45% aloe, and you get twice as much for the same price as the one ounce stuff that the big outfits are, are selling. So if you think price makes uh, a product good, go buy theirs. But if you want to get the best value and, frankly, better protection, come see us. Key West Aloe. Since the beginning, Key West Aloe has learned from the environment and wondered in its beauty. And today, Key West Aloe is one of the world's most respected manufacturers of skin care and sun care products, cosmetics and fragrances, shipping their aloe genetic creations to exclusive shops around the globe. This beautiful little shop on Front Street, right here in Key West, is where it all began. Here is a treasure of aloe genetic moisturizers and lotions, gels and creams, tanning oils and gentle cosmetics. Art and science finally have an understanding, and it's called Key West Aloe. Yes, it's been great uh, being here with you, and by all means, do come by. Just because we have cozy romantic corners, softly glowing candles, a sprinkling of antiques, that old world look, and excellent service, doesn't mean we're stuffy. Just because we have lusty, full-bodied wines, chefs who devote their whole lives to preparing perfectly seasoned and sauced authentic Italian and French dishes that tantalize your senses and promise heaven in every bite, doesn't mean our prices are out of sight. Just because we have a stylish cocktail bar and our tables are set with sparkling silver and fresh flowers, doesn't mean you have to dress for dinner. And just because our name sounds a little foreign, doesn't mean we can't make the most of fresh local seafoods. In fact, just because we are La Trattoria Venezia, you're in for one of the nicest experiences of your vacation. La Trattoria Venezia. Comfortable, classical, casual and friendly. Right on Duval Street.
On the south end of Key West, where Duval Street meets the ocean, is the South Beach Seafood and Raw Bar. And because South Beach Seafood and Raw Bar sits right on the beach, you'll always be guaranteed a fantastic view and fresh ocean breeze. The atmosphere at South Beach is laid back and comfortable. The perfect environment to enjoy the best seafood on the island. Try our tantalizing appetizers like Oysters Rockefeller and fantastic fresh seafood dishes like Shrimp Scampi and Seafood Melange. Tender steaks and beef guts all enhanced with the fine wine of your choice. Come early and enjoy a refreshing drink at our bar, South Beach Seafood and Raw Bar. We're open every day from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Old Key West was like the Old West. Colorful, spicy, and a little wild. Turtle Crawls, four blocks and a hundred years from Duval Street, is Old Key West. Now, Papa Hemingway never ate here, but if he were alive today, this is where you'd find him, because this is all that's left of the Key West he loved. Turtle Crawls at Land's End Village. Great southwestern seafood right on the harbor. The solution is here. Key West Aloe's Allogenetic Skin Science has created a totally new night cream that you should know about. The name is Solution. You've heard about alpha hydroxy acid in the new creams. Solution uses this natural fruit acid to help rejuvenate your skin while you sleep. But that's just the beginning. Solution is also rich in 60% aloe and oil-free moisturizers and penetrating antioxidants, vitamin A and E. Time release skin sloughing agents, the newest advance in encapsulated biotechnology, have been added to continuously work their magic. Every test panel has given Solution rave reviews. We believe you'll find this wonderful new night cream the best you've ever used. Because Solution works to give you beautiful skin. It rejuvenates and moisturizes at the same time. Ask for it by name. Solution. The allogenetic solution is here at your favorite Key West Aloe store.
La Trattoria Venezia, a taste of Italy in the heart of Duval. Located a block away from the congestion of Duval Street, right behind the historic Customs House Museum, you'll discover what you thought Key West would be. Situated in the Hilton Hotel Marina shopping area, with a spectacular sunset view, is Goldsmith Jewelers. Voted one of the best and most beautiful jewelry stores in the country by Jewelers Circular Magazine, and making jewelry magic in Key West for 23 years. The interior design of Goldsmith is carefully considered and is artistically pleasing as their original jewelry creations. Cool and comfortable, the extraordinary displays invite shoppers to wander and linger over each exotic treasure. The artist's closeness to the sea is reflected in his Underwater Wonders collection. Fourteen and eighteen carat sea life rings, pendants and bracelets, as well as carved gemstone tropical fish are all produced here in our workshop, and each a tropical work of art. After all, Goldsmith is not just a name, but a profession. Each design, whether it's $20 or $20,000, is executed with the same attention to detail that makes them instant classics. All work carries an unconditional guarantee. A bonus few, if any, other shops offer today. This sterling reputation comes from over 23 years of community involvement, filling the needs of endless island birthdays, weddings, and anniversaries. Featured in Vogue, The New York Times, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and Women's Wear Daily, among others, Key West's most varied artist, John Buzagani, creates precious art to wear, as well as paintings and remarkable porcelain and bronze sculpture. Collected from Tallahassee to Tokyo, these masterpieces have an exuberance, a sense of movement filled with power and emotion, opulent flowers not just in the early bloom of youth, but also in the last moments of life. Earning a fine arts degree with honors in jewelry from well-known Carnegie Mellon University, John went on to further specialized training in Florence. The Ponte Vecchio tempered his sensibilities and refined his abilities, this evident in the outstanding examples of personal ornamentation and fine art found at Goldsmith Jewelers. Winner of the Art to Wear Award and the People's Choice Award for many years in a row, John uses exotic and precious materials. A variety of pearls, including natural American, conch, Tahitian, and Chinese, have always been a goldsmith's specialty. Naturally colored diamonds from Australia, Colombian emeralds, and a rainbow of Maine tourmalines all have a space in the gem palette of this jeweler. Strictly original and one of a kind, this artist uses the colors of a painter, the strength of a sculptor, and the skill of a surgeon to translate his vision into gold and gems. Authentic ancient Greek, Roman, and Spanish coins, a regular part of the Goldsmith Collection since 1974, are all museum quality and certified by one of America's foremost experts in ancient coins. The work of visionary artist Greg Scorzavave can also be found in this unique gallery setting. From personal metaphors, this artist creates modern-day icons using gold-leaf gems, recycled and found objects. A longtime member of the Jewelers of America, the Jewelers Board of Trade, the goldsmith shop supports truth in pricing. No inflated prices, fictitious 50% off sales, grand scales, or salespeople with private agendas here. The friendly and knowledgeable staff will candidly answer questions about carrot gold, gemstones, and pearls. Everyone is invited to stop by and pick up a free copy of the Jewelers of America pamphlet entitled, What You Should Know About Jewelry Bargains and Discounts. Goldsmith Jewelers stands on its own merits. Their walls are covered with accolades and awards from local and national organizations alike, and customers are encouraged to shop, compare, and then make an informed decision on the price and quality of their jewelry purchase. 
Creative and innovative displays showcase Goldsmith's designs and have captured not only the International De Beers Diamond Display Award, but also first place in the Key West Chamber of Commerce Christmas Display Contest for many years. A destination in its own right, Folder's Guide to Florida called the Goldsmith Shop a standout. Vogue magazine says a must-see. Come and see for yourself. Goldsmith Jewelers, 271 Front Street in the Hilton Hotel and Marina Shopping Area. Goldsmith Jewelers, the award-winning jewelers of Key West. 82, Halloween in the Devil's Triangle. 1993, Lost in the 60s. From the kickoff excitement of Goombe Festival to the fabulous Pretenders in Paradise costume extravaganza and the grand finale, the Twilight Fantasy Parade down Duval. Fantasy Fest is fun, bizarre, creative, and wild. of autumn in the keys sparked the creative fire that became fantasy fest and it truly is an incredibly beautiful time of year the temperature is warm yet never too hot the breeze blows gently cooling the old conch homes carrying the scent of tropical blooms and salty sea air over the island for many it is their favorite season and it is also the time the Powerboat Association has selected for the World Cup Offshore Powerboat Race. Offshore speed demons racing in a battle against the unpredictable waters of the Gulf and Atlantic. These giants race exhilaratingly right through Key West's main channel, giving spectators a rare opportunity to witness the sport up close, to really be a part of the action. Whether you're visiting the Keys for the first time or are a seasoned veteran, you owe it to yourself to experience Key West in all her glory. The sensual beauty of spring. The boundless energy of summer. The colorful fantasies of fall. And the warm magic of winter. You owe it to yourself to experience the real Key West. A glorious touch of each beautiful season of the year. North America's only living coral reef lies just six miles offshore. One of the most fascinatingly biological diverse marine ecosystems in the world. This barrier reef is responsible for the calm waters we enjoy year-round here in Key West. As incredible as it seems, this fragile reef, with its delicate brain coral and gently swaying fans, absorbs powerful ocean surges that would otherwise create crashing waves and churning surf. Because of this reef, Key West is surrounded by a calm cradle of crystal clear Caribbean water, brimming with colorful underwater life. You owe it to yourself to explore this wonder of nature, the only one of its kind in the world. And one of the best ways to truly experience the underwater majesty is aboard Key West's newest water attractions, the pride of Key West and the newly renovated fireball. Special glass windows on the reef offer a dramatic view of the spectacular underwater drama a view previously reserved only for scuba divers. The pride of Key West and the Fireball offers two-hour narrated glass-bottom reef cruises daily. Experienced captains and crew provide a captivating and informative echo tour of the spectacular reef. Both vessels are specifically designed for these waters, allowing maximum viewing with minimum stress to the delicate reef environment.
It's a real long process, coral growth. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something that takes thousands and thousands of years. Our reef is estimated to be around 50,000 years old. Majestic Elkhorn and massive brain coral, ancient and deceptively sturdy in appearance, stand sentry for the more than 300 species of fish that inhabit the colorful seascape. It is a breathtaking world of strange creatures and extraordinary underwater plant life. Things like numerous sharks in one area, that's a weird thing because we rarely ever see that. A lot of sharks or a lot of stingrays in just one spot. Those are some of the weird things that we see. Every day, the 65-foot state-of-the-art award-winning Pride of Key West and the sister ship, the Fireball, transport passengers above a splendid tropical underwater show. It is a beautiful way to spend two of the most unforgettable hours of your life. The Pride of Key West and the Fireball. This fleet of world-class glass-bottom boats are docked at the very foot of Duval Street between the Pier House and the Ocean Key House. For reservations, cruise times, and more information, call 296-6293. I gotta put eggs first. And then you got to blend it in. And then you take your lime juice. Now, I'm putting one cup of frosting. Egg white. Mm. That's good. I'm putting frosting on there now, and it takes me about two or three minutes to put it on. Wow, Lee, you're making that beautiful key lime pie again, huh? It looks beautiful. I gotta yeah. make it beautiful for my boyfriend over here. <laughs> put him in the oven now for about five minutes. Once you get it made, you will enjoy it. The best pie ever been in Key West. If you want real key lime pie, come to the rooftop cafe. That's real key lime pie. several years of research, it has been proven that the most popular t-shirt in Key West is this one. Hog's breath is better than no breath at all. Deep. Real deep. And as a matter of fact, hog's breath is also better than no bar at all. Uh, the philosophy is basically you kind of have a good time and uh, we try to stay around water sports, beach activities, sailing, surfing, uh, diving and fishing and that's what we try to, that's most of our clientele. It's the music and, and the atmosphere is probably the biggest draw. The entertainment's always uh, brought a lot of people back and that's been one of our big pluses that have brought people here is the entertainment. Um, we have a offer a, a grilled dolphin sandwich which is our featured food item. That gets a lot of uh, excitement. It's a great bar. Real great. With bartenders, drinks, guys playing guitars, people drinking, people farting, people wearing t-shirts, people having fun. So come on down to the Hog's Breath on Front Street in Key West and be sure to visit the Hog's Breath Saloon in Cancun, the French Quarter in New Orleans, and Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Back in the 40s, Harry Truman rode by the original Duffy's Tavern on his way to the Little White House. We don't know whether he really ate at Duffy's, but if he did, he found good, simple food, hearty portions, and reasonable prices. Duffy's is back in its original location with the original idea. Huge cuts of tender, aged Angus beef steaks and prime rib. Luscious lobster served split with drawn butter. Fresh island seafood, crisp salads, tall, cool drinks at the most reasonable prices in Key West. Times haven't changed that much at Duffy's Steak and Lobster House, on the corner of Simonton and Truman. 
because men's facial skin is different, Key West Aloe Allogenetic Shaving System and facial treatments were specifically designed for them. For tough beards or for sensitive skin, Allogenetic Shaving System will give you the closest, most comfortable shave you ever thought possible. Allogenetic Aftershave Facial Treatment from Key West Aloe will leave your face smooth and visibly refreshed. Key West Aloe Allogenetics for men. Ernest Hemingway moved to Key West for one reason, the fishing. He worked in road in the mornings, and every afternoon he headed for the docks to talk with the boat captains and arrange his now famous fishing trips. Charter Boat Row is the center of Key West fishing industry, reigning for over 29 years as the premier sport fishing docks with 38 boats and the luckiest fishing captains in the business. Four o'clock is the best time to head down to Charter Boat Row. There you can take your time, stroll down the docks, and book your reservations for the next day. No matter what kind of fishing you're into, Charter Boat Row has got it. Offshore, light tackle, party boats, and flats fishing from tarpon to sailfish. These captains can put you right on top of the best fishing in the world. Get the dock price. Booking directly at the dock could save you upwards to 20% on the cost of your fishing trip. And if you really want to save some bucks, the boat captains can put you together with other singles or couples to split the cost of the trip. The old timers will tell you Charter Boat Row is truly a slice of the real Key West. Charter Boat Row, just a mile from Duval. Just follow Eaton Street and you'll see the Charter Boat Row sign on your left. Charter Boat Row, at the corner of North Roosevelt Boulevard and Palm Avenue.
like to watch kids and see the things they do, and then I'll often do a painting like this where I put the um, person doing the type of things that they're pretending they're doing, and my paintings are based on their fantasies. And so what I've done lately is what I really start specializing in is portraits where people commission me to take their children. Um, this is an example right here. This was actually a commissioned painting, and this is the little girl. Yeah, you look like her. That's the one right there. Um, I actually photographed the kids doing what they're meant to be doing, and I tell them to pretend they're mermaids. And I've just gotten very good at this sort of Norman Rockwell, possibly Meet Stolly style of, uh, and I don't like to use the word portraits because that's where they pose, and my paintings are posed. They're actually living, pretending they're doing the things they're doing here. As I was a, as a small kid growing up, we had a, a variety of pet birds, and uh, so I went on to pursue an art education and graduated from college, and, and now I'm living my dream of sculpting birds now. This is a, the American dream, a piece I'm real proud of. This is a, a sculpture that kind of my tribute to the opportunity that I've give, been given here in America. Um, I'm also working on some pelicans, which is, a, I find a very interesting bird, almost a prehistoric looking bird. And I can spend hours and hours along the coast watching the, the pelicans fishing and soaring and playing with one another. Um, another project that I'm working on now is I'm working on some blue herons, because I find those to be very interesting. And I came out specifically to kind of show the world out through my new book. Uh, it's about me, of course, and it basically uh, uh, spotlights my artwork. And there's over 100 color plates and images in it. And the new lithograph that I've done, it's called Night Street, it's just behind me, represents just about any city, major city in the world, at about midnight. Memories from Hong Kong, Osaka, Japan, Bourbon Street, New York City, and uh, that, that, that type of thing. Uh, behind me is uh, one in the uh, series of four of the uh, Florida Suite. New paintings depicting uh, the keys. Of course, this view is right from Mallory Square, where uh, many people have enjoyed the sunset, including myself, for many, many years. And I've always envisioned what was below uh, the waterline. And, you know, as an artist, I have a rare opportunity to take people below uh, the uh, ocean and see the beautiful marine life that we have right here in Florida in the Keys. We have a beautiful living reef, a lot of the colorful fish, the uh, green sea turtles that I love so much. Um, this is the original oil. We also have a limited uh, edition print here available. I also did a painting uh, for the manatees called Save the Manatees, and I had a rare experience to swim with manatees in Blue Springs. And uh, the new painting is very special. The manatee is swimming right towards you with her, her calf and is making an offering. And that original is right here as well. We come down to Wyoming Galleries and view. Wyland, the world's leading environmental artist, has been painting his way into the collective consciousness of people around the globe for over 25 years. He's internationally famous for his Wayland Wall murals and has touched millions with the beauty and light of his inspirational paintings. Now, the art of white and his band of environmental compatriots is available in Key West. One of the reasons that we find seascapes and tropical are so appealing is because we live in Indiana. Mm -hmm. So we, we love to look at our walls, look at the artwork that we own, and be able to see just a piece of that ocean right there in our home in Indiana. And it brings a little piece of that vacation home with us. You see it, you fall in love with it, and it's like, I want that. I want to, I want to look at that. I want to, I want to enjoy that. And that's, that's what I get from it. Well, I've been painting uh, marine life since 1971. I travel all over the world diving and researching whales. In fact, I spend a lot of time swimming with the whales and dolphins. And uh, in fact, I've been coming down here for a lot of years and spending time studying the, uh, the dolphins. Center. I've actually collaborated in painting with some of these dolphins as well. Uh, Key West is a very special place. Uh, there's a lot of artists here. It has a long history of artists. And, uh, you know, it's got a lot of character. And uh, I want my art to reflect uh, the reef that everybody's concerned about down here. This is the only living reef in, on mainland uh, United States. And uh, it's very precious. And there's uh, a lot of groups working to preserve this reef. Uh, Reef Relief here locally is a group that I 
support it and uh, continue to support it. This gallery goes far beyond uh, just featuring art or artists. It really captures the spirit of the ocean, and I hope that many people will become uh, inspired when they visit the gallery here on Duval Street. Perhaps it is the undeniable Key West is famous for fabulous seafood restaurants, and one of the best is on the corner of Caroline and William Street, a chic, casual, little fish wagon. Still making a square grouper, got short groupers, we got, like I said, we, we even got soft shell crab now, which we didn't have before. And the biggest burgers in town, of course, hot dogs, deep fried hot dogs on Cuban bread, the connoisseurs of hot dogs, just think they're the, the best thing they've ever tasted. We do the black beans and rice in the picadillo because I was born and raised on that stuff, so I had to do that. It's a staple of my life. But other than that, things are real good. And uh, the minor stuff that bothers me every day, hell, I just get rid of that real quick. Just don't worry about it. Very simple. B.O. is famous for his conch fritters, MF burgers, and the best square grouper sandwiches on the planet. This is what we do here. This is a... Uh, the big grouper and the short grouper. As you can see, the short grouper ain't too short at all. It's plenty of food. Now what we do here, just take a big old piece of this. What I'm gonna do is uh, make you guys a couple of sandwiches. All right, so we're gonna load them up. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Keo's world famous key lime mustard. This is the short grouper on the menu. Remember the size. So a little bit of Nellie and Joe's key lime juice. Nice, beautiful fries here. They come up and tell me, I saw that special on TV, I want that. And I'll do that for you. Okay, now here you go. Bio's fish wagon accepts cash, dresses casual, and reservations are not necessary. The shimmering Gulf of Mexico. The majestic Atlantic Ocean. These are the settings for the hard work, dedication, and pride of Florida's fishing tradition. Passed down through generations, fishing remains a way of life for those who bring Florida's bounty home to your table. And while their labors may go unnoticed, their harvest is always treasured. Florida's fishermen, from the boat to the dock to your table, their efforts make seafood a part of your life. Soaking up sun and paradise Kicking back in the keys Swimming, diving, fooling around Do as you please now We'll show you how Tune in to Key TV We know where you ought to be We've got the fun that you're after Key TV Originally, the carriage house for the oldest house on the island, the Red Barn, has been home to Key West's finest theater since the early 1940s. Through the years, this tiny little theater has hosted a long series of brilliant plays, including the work of Tennessee Williams, Shel Silverstein, Jerry Herman, and Roy Scheider. Just steps off Duval behind the beautiful old woman's club building, the little red barn with its intimate, if not somewhat notorious, chicken coop bar welcomes theater lovers Local and visitors alike to take their cocktails into the little theater, to roar with laughter, cry an occasional tear, and sing along with some of the most professional, outstanding performances in America. Big things do happen in a small space. The Red Barn Theater. For more information and a schedule of current performances, call the Red Barn office at 296 9911. Captain Tony's Saloon on Green Street is the original Sloppy Joe's. 
This is the bar where Ernest Hemingway was inspired while writing such novels as To Have and Have Not, and also the bar where he met his third wife, Martha Gellhorn. It is and has been the favorite watering hole of other local legends, such as Tennessee Williams, Truman Capote, and most recently, Jimmy Buffett. This saloon is not just a bar. It's a piece of Key West history. I think when you walk in a door, you feel it. There's something in a building here. It's like, uh, it's not a ghost or anything, but, but you feel these people. There's a smell in this bar. I mean, I don't, I can't say what it is. When I first bought the bar, because we're from New Jersey, my uncle used to have a bar, and it was a great smell of stale beer. I took a whole case of Budweiser, dumped it all over the place, never got that smell. There must be 10,000 cards here, maybe more than 10,000. And it's an ego trip. I made Captain Tony. Tom Pinder goes up there, he sees all these bones, puts them all together, and gives me this skeleton, which I always tell people is my first wife, because I can't tell them this long story. A pathologist comes in about a year later and he looked at the skeleton, he couldn't stop laughing. He says, Tony, can I look at that skeleton? And said, sure you can. He said, where'd you get it? I said, well, a friend of mine gave it. He says, three people. Fishing boat captain, gun runner, treasure hunter, gambling casino operator, and most recently, mayor of Key West. Captain Tony is one of those bigger than life characters who has been described as a dropout from a Hemingway novel. Originally an ice house that doubled as a morgue, the building that houses Captain Tony's saloon is steeped in history. And, well, uh, Tony is a living piece of history himself. Captain Tony is part of the spirit of Key West. So when you wander into his place for a cold one, be prepared. He's not the type to sit back and rest on his reputation. Key West attracts different kinds of people. Writers, artists, eccentrics, adventurers. A lot of people with definite ideas about what they like. That is why you'll find some of the finest works of art and jewelry here on this tiny island. Perhaps one of the most exclusive shops in Key West occupies one of the most unassuming little buildings on Duval. Leslie Miller Limited, the island's most creative jewelry store, offers an exclusive collection of unusual marine and nautical pieces handcrafted right there on the spot. The gold detail work is dazzling. The sparkling beauty of fine stones is breathtaking. Diamonds, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, precious boulder opals, Mikimoto pearls, and the incredible rare black pearls. Leslie Miller Limited is also the only place on the island where you will find this incredible collection of black pearls. Leslie Miller specializes in South Sea black pearls. It takes four months for an oyster to make a regular pearl. Four years are required to form a precious black pearl. What they do is they take seeds from the Mississippi River, they fly them to a farm in Tahiti. Every day for four years, a diver has to go down and he has to check them to make sure they're all right. Not all black pearls are black. They range in color from shimmering white to steel gray, even purple and gold. They can be button-shaped, pear-shaped, baroque, or a thousand other shapes, but the most sought after, most valuable, are round. And there is no other pearl in the world that compares to the beautiful, delicate brilliance of South Sea black pearls, like the ones you will find at Leslie Miller. In the jewelry industry, Mickey Moto is considered the finest pearls. Only 2 to 3% of all the pearls in the world are good enough to be Mickey Moto. In addition to Leslie Miller's impressive designs, there are fabulous, unique rings of emerald, rubies and diamonds, unique men's rings, handmade Italian gold chains, and ear pins that actually mold to your ear. Perhaps the most exciting creations at Leslie Miller are the Jean Vito designs. Jean Vito is one of the foremost jewelry designers in the world. From his studio in France, he creates true works of art. Each piece is individually handmade. He hand sets every, every stone individually. It's a, tr it's a true, true work of art. He uses a combination of precious stones. He uses diamonds, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, and he mixes them up. He does some real nice, what you'd call dinner rings, and he also does a mixture of what we feature is nautical pieces. Leslie Miller is also one of only 15 locations in Florida offering Walt Disney's classic collectibles. And they are the exclusive dealer for Hummels with a 25% discount offered on all Hummels collectibles at all times. Leslie Miller Jewelry, a little shop filled with precious stones 
and works of art at 419 Duval. Catherine, this is your mother. Remember me? Don't forget dinner on Sunday. Kate, this is Paul. How's city life? Hope you got the package. Key West misses you. Remember our walks on the beach? Mm. Come back soon. The sunsets are still beautiful. Black coral from Key West Aloe. A beautiful fragrance, a perfect memory. Soaking up sun in paradise. Kicking back in the key. has seen a lot of change over the last 50 years, but some things don't change. Our history, our climate, our heritage, our architecture. What better way to take advantage of the best of Key West than the Bagatelle, located in a restored sea captain's house on the oldest city block in South Florida. If you ask a local to name the restaurant that epitomizes Key West, more than likely they'll tell you, Bagatelle. Bagatelle. Dick Buckheim's two-story conch house restaurant on Duval was originally built in 1884 by Sea Captain Frederick Roberts. The graceful old home has been beautifully renovated. Expansive verandas overlook the ever-changing street show of Duval. Bagatelle is fine dining in the Key West tradition with linen and tropical flowers. Fresh local seafood with just a hint of the tropics. Executive chef Sharon Hilbig has received many awards and much recognition for her innovative Bagatelle menu. Perhaps most popular is the Snapper Rangoon, pan-fried filet of local snapper topped with fresh tropical fruits sautéed in a butter rum sauce. Then there's fresh Florida lobster, stuffed with shrimp, fish, and scallops, finished with garlic, herb butter, and stone crab claws, that favorite seasonal delicacy indigenous to the Florida Keys. Salmon steak, debone, grilled, and served on a bed of spinach with saffron butter sauce. Or veal roulade, tenderloin of veal, stuffed with roast garlic and portobello mushrooms, served with smoked yellow and plum tomato sauce. Bagatelle appetizers include a luscious avocado fan and tuna tataki. It's all perfectly prepared and served in an atmosphere of unique Key West history. It's uh, rumored that Tennessee Williams wrote part of the book, The Rose Tattoo, in this building. And when it was first opened as a restaurant, it was called The Rose Tattoo, and it was that for about five years before it became Bagatelle. Bagatelle is open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Reservations are suggested, especially for a veranda table. Dress is casual, and all major credit cards are accepted. Prices are moderate. Located between Sloppy Joe's and the Pier House on Duval. Call 296-6609. Just at the point where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Gulf of Mexico, where the islanders meet every night to celebrate sunset, elegantly poised to take advantage of every possible Key West pastime, the Ocean Key House Resort offers a dazzling array of different ways to enjoy the unique flavors of America's only Caribbean island. The address is Zero Duval, and the Ocean Key House Zero's Cafe is pure Key West. Warmly sophisticated with soft lights and cool terracotta tiles. Filled with original paintings and sculptures by Key West's best known artists. Zero's is open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and when the mood is right, deep into the Caribbean night. Zero's offers creative colorful salads, fresh seasonal entrees, and beautiful desserts. Zero's Bar is a popular gathering place for locals and visitors live entertainment, a fine selection of wines, beers, liquors, microbrews, and espressos. Zero's favorites are also available in the Zero's market. Gourmet packages to go. And from the Ocean Key House docks, there are literally thousands of places to go and hundreds of ways to get there. Windsurfing and parasailing, 
snorkeling on the reef and deep sea fishing, scuba diving, and sailing out to meet the friendly bottlenose dolphin, or just relaxing on the docks, watching the colorful spectacle of sailing ships as they cruise through Key West Harbor, just inches away from the docks. The Ocean Key House Gulfside Pool is the centerpiece of the resort, and if you're interested in exploring the underwater treasures of Key West, take a fun and informative patty diving course right here in the pool. It's a safe way to learn, and the surroundings are absolutely incredible. From cocktail receptions to lavish seated dinners, the pool deck is famous for catering the island's most memorable special events. At the close of every day, the Ocean Key House Sunset Pier Bar and Grill celebrates a long-standing island tradition, the glorious spectacle of Key West sunsets, famous around the world. This is where it all happens, overlooking Mallory Square, with its mimes, musicians, and magicians, stretching 200 feet out over the water, as close as you can get to the magic of sunset. A beautiful tropical pool on the Gulf, Pool Island Zero Cafe, Bar and Market, a private marina filled with every possible way to have fun on or under the water, and the Sunset Bar and Grill, the heart of the island at sunset. Find it all at Zero Duval, the Ocean Key House Suite Resort and Marina in Old Town.
know anything about Key West, you probably know that yellowtail snapper is considered a local seafood delicacy. And if you know anything about seafood delicacies, you know that Benihana has mastered the art. Yellowtail teriyaki at Benihana. Like everything else in Key West, this Benihana is one of a kind. Benihana, fresh local seafood and fine steaks. It's most memorable restaurants. Let me take you to an intimate and romantic setting where the tinkling ivories enhance your mood. I'll pique your interest with the heady aroma of portobello mushrooms baked with lemon pesto on garlic crostini. Then tempt you with fresh Key West pinks wrapped around crab meat mousse and baked in cocoons of crisp angel hair phyllo. <laughs> I'll tease you with a passion fruit glazed leg of duck peppered with mango chutney and send you to heaven with a three berry tart. It's a nightly temptation and as no coward once remarked, I can resist anything but temptation. Square One Restaurant is a favorite with the locals and Key West regulars. Make some new friends at the bar, share a few laughs, and enjoy one of the best meals at the best value on the island. Square One in Duval Square. Reservations are suggested, but not always necessary, at 296-4300. And after all this teasing and tempting, it's awfully good to know you'll be completely satisfied. Bon appetit. I dare you. Kyoto says, if you're hungry, you can eat. If you're thirsty, you can drink. It's a simple philosophy that keeps origami at the top of the list of local favorites. After all, there's probably no better way to really enjoy the fresh fish of Key West than sushi. Origami is a beautiful, casual restaurant filled with tropical charm. Kyoto and Kuma treat their customers like royalty, and the popularity of the place is due in no small part to their genuine good humor and genius with Japanese cuisine. The dumplings are served steaming and plump with veggies and beef. The tempura is perfect and golden. The unagi teriyaki is tender and flavorful. Barbecued eel over a bowl of steaming rice with homemade eel sauce. The udon noodles stir-fried with fresh scallops and shrimp are out of this world. And the sushi, this just may be the finest sushi in the country. Origami is located on Duval Square at 1075 Duval. Reservations are not necessary, but are accepted at 294-0092. Lucky Street Gallery has moved to White Street, the new heart of the real Key West. Joining other galleries, antique shops, and boutiques, Lucky Street Gallery is continuing its 13-year tradition of bringing Key West visitors and locals the best contemporary art experience in the Southeast. Featuring the work of John Martini, one of Key West's most famous artists. Working in new and recycled steel with cutting torch, his reputation is growing nationally and internationally with repeated one-man shows in Paris. Single and group shows in Miami, New York, and Chicago. Recognized as one of the premier galleries in the Southeast, Lucky Street is constantly changing with new shows every two weeks featuring the exciting new work of renowned local artists with national reputations. Roberta Marx, Terry Gindel, Julia Bloom, Molly Goodwin, Dalva Duarte, Terry Tomas, Carol Munder, Michael Haken, and Kathy Rose. Lucky Street art ranges from paintings to sculpture to high-end ceramics and glass to jewelry. For many years, the gallery has featured the technoramic jewelry designs of Thomas Mann, a resident of Key West's soul sister city, New Orleans. There are, there are a number of sort of design modes that I work in uh, within the realm of techno-romantic, and sometimes it's sort of based on the human figure, sometimes it'll be based on nature, sometimes it'll be based on uh, some kind of maybe a political or social issue. Lucky Street Gallery, 1120 White Street, open seven days. Welcome to the Keys. This is a peaceful community, a resort designed for romance, family, and lazy days of leisure. It's easy to relax here, easy to believe you have escaped the hassles and problems of day-to-day -day life, escaped to paradise. 
is a wonderful feeling. But please remember, no matter where you vacation, you should use good judgment. Don't leave your common sense at home. At home, you wouldn't walk alone down an unfamiliar dark street. Don't do it here. At home, you wouldn't go to sleep with your windows and doors unlocked. Don't do it here. At home, you wouldn't get into a car with a stranger or take him into your confidence. Don't do it here. At home, you wouldn't leave your children or loved ones alone. Don't do it here. In all major resort communities, there are those who prey upon unsuspecting travelers. They are counting on you to let down your guard. Forget your normal precautions. Don't allow yourself to be a victim. This message is not meant to alarm you. After all, this is your vacation and Key West is a safe, caring community. It is just a reminder to use your common sense. Be safe and have a wonderful vacation.